Shalom. A foremost, I want to start. Shalom. A foremost, I want to start out by giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakakadash, the honors to the elders and apostles for the edification and knowledge. Call Yahya Bashim Yahshai for putting the spirit of the elders and apostles so we become edified regarding learning and knowing this truth and knowledge. Call Holy Yahya Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakakadash, give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakakadash. Get some scriptures relating to um, pride slash humility. Get a few scriptures. It's Philippians. Um, get some scriptures on um, on humility slash pride. Get some scriptures on uh, humility. Then I want to get some scriptures related to pride. Let's go to um, Philippians 2, 3, and 11. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind. Let each esteem other better than themselves. So being selfless, not thinking of self, and pretty much uplifting and, and esteeming others, man. You know, uh, let let nothing be done in strife or vainglory, in contention or vainglory. It's things that's uh, idle and useless, man. Because, for example, social media, the people are always showing, um, doing crazy things um, um, uh, to not only show off, but to um, um, for for approval and validation of um, for others, man, and it's all vain glory, man. That's all vanity. Let not every man look not every man on his own things, but every man also on things of others. So it's not about yourself. Let this mind let this mind be in you, which also also which was also in Hamashiach. So, having that same mindset, mindset as a Hamashiach, Yahweh who being in form of God, thought, who being in form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. So, being in a lower state, man. Because he's not, he's the, um, he's the son. The father is higher, and then it's the son, man. So, it's levels. But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in likeness of men. So he came in the likeness of men in a, low, in a lowly state form. And, um, and he came in the will to do his father, man. He came as a servant, man. To, um, to do the will of his father, Yahweh, man. He came in a lowly form in the flesh. To overcome what he needs to overcome to ultimately be crucified, man. So he had, he was in a very humble and low state, man. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. So his purpose was to do his father's business. That scripture says he came to do his father's business. To do the will of his father, man, even to the death, which um, the death of the cross, which is um, being crucified, man. That was his purpose. That's what he was created to do, man. Ultimately, for the remission and the sins of Israel. Wherefore, Yahweh also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, and that's his only begotten son, man. sitting on the right, right hand side of his father that that at the name of Yahweh Shai every knee shall bow and things in the heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth because the Lord is go, Lord Yahweh Shai is going to is going to rule man all dominions given to him and all going to bow to him man and that every tongue shall confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord in the glory of his glory of God the Father Yahweh, man. 
So all tongues, all kindreds, all nations are going to fest Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. And they're also going to bow down to them. All nations and kindreds as well, man. Go to... Um, James 4 and 6. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resisted the proud, which is the wicked, and giveth grace to the humble, which is the lowly. Luke 14 and 11. For whosoever exalt himself shall be abased, and he that humble himself shall be exhausted. So who that exalteth himself in pride will be embarrassed and abased and shamed. And he that humble himself, he that humble himself who is low, the Lord will exalt will exalt him in due time and that will be in um first peter's five and six which is two, uh, two verses down this is proverbs 22 and 4 by humility and fear by humility in the fear of the lord are riches honor and life and that's ultimately the scriptures man these are the riches honor of life man through the scriptures and fear of the lord man and the first step of fearing the lord is being humbled man being brought down, being abased. First to Peter 5 and 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time. So being humble, man. The scriptures on Luke 14, 11 and, and um, Matthew 23 and 12, man. I'll read it again. Whosoever ex exalt, him, exalt himself shall be abased. And he that humble himself shall be um, exalted. So he that humble himself is going to be exalted in due time and due season. Because everything has a, a time and season and purpose to the time and season, man. But it's on a time, on a timeline, how about Shem Yosha, man? So it, it's about humility. That was uh, 1 Peter 5 and 6. That was uh, Matthew 23 and 12. That was also Luke 14 and 11. Relating to that. 12 and 3. For I say, though, th for I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Because we're not. we just in this flesh. Why are, the scripture talks about why are earth and ashes proud. So we don't need to be proud. We're in this flesh, man. This flesh came as dirt, as dust, and go back to the ground. We can go back to where it came from. Um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Um, the dust will go back to the ground and the, and the spirit will go to the one who created it, man. So we, go back to his for, we can go back to his former state, man. So why earth and ashes proud, man? So we need not to be proud, man. We in the flesh. We are not. We uh. We are. Our flesh is not uh, as. Uh, we are as. Uh, uh, our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. Read twelve and three again. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think himself more highly than he ought to, being humble, being prideful. <clears throat> but to think soberly according to as as Yahweh have dealt to every man the measure of faith. So what was given to you, every measurement relating to individually that was given to him. And not to think themselves to be uh, higher than they ought to be, man. Colossians 3 and 12. But put on, therefore, as the elect of Yahweh, Holy and beloved bows, mer mercies, kindness, humbleness, meek, mind, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering. So those qualities. John three thirty, he must increase, but I must decrease. He must increase through the spirit, but I must decrease through the flesh, man. When pride cometh, then cometh shame, because one who's um, he that um, exalts himself shall be abased. That base is, that being abased is that shame, man. From what? Pride. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But what the lowly is wisdom, that's humility. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves into the elder. Ye all of you be subject to one to another and be clothed with humility. For Yahweh resisted the proud and give grace to the humble, man. So being clothed with humility, 
that spiritual clothing of humility, man. Be clothed with it. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, as James 4 and 10, and he shall lift you up. So humble yourselves, thou go with um, Matthew 23 and 12, Luke 14 and 11, 1 Peter uh, 5 and 6. So um, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. He's going to lift you up. He's going to exalt you in that due time. Um, Ephesians 4 and 2. With all loneliness and meekness, with long suffer forbearing one another in love. Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Because ultimately, the Lord gives all these things, man. You know what I mean? It's not of himself, man. That scripture I was saying, through the scripture I was saying, why are earth ashes proud, man? So a wise man, why glory in his wisdom, man? Because the Lord gave him that. So why a mighty man, a mighty man glory in his might? Because the Lord gave him that. And let not the rich man glory in his riches, because the Lord gave him that. Gave him that. So the wisdom, the might, and the riches, the Lord giveth, and he also can take it, man. So that relates all to that um that pride, man. Boast not Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root, but the root thee. So boast not. Man. This is a few scriptures relating to uh, humility. I'm going to go to pride. The scripture talks about... Um, six things the Lord hates... Let's go to it. It's Proverbs 6, 16, and 19. These six things doth the Lord hate. Seven are abomination to him. A proud look, which goes to that appearance, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, pretty much a murderer. One who uh, speaks crafty and deceptive with his tongue, and a proud countenance or appearance, man. And a heart that devise the wicked imaginations. So scheming wicked things, man. And feet that be swift to run into mischief. These are all traits of the wicked, man, that the Lord hates, man. A false witness, a false witness that speaks lies, uh, one who's bearing false witness, and he that soweth discord among the brethren. So pretty much uh, a tale bearer or a troublemaker, man. So all these things are qualities that the Lord hates, man. Let's go to, um, and overall, the Lord hates pride. Go to some pride scriptures. Now we go to scriptures relating to pride. This is pride slash humility relating to this video. <clears throat> 11 and 2, Proverbs. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom, and that's humility. With pride, ultimately, comes with um, uh, being ashamed. One who lifts himself, one who exalts himself is going to be a base. Part of that base is being shamed, man. But one who is humble will, will be exalted, man. 16 and 5. Um, Proverbs. Everyone that is proud in heart, which is his mind, is an abomination to the Lord. Because the Lord hates pride. Um, pride before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 16 and 18. Let's read 16 and 5 again. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to heart, abomination to the Lord, Yahweh. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. So ones who join hand in hand are, are, are equally proud, joining hand in hand, they're not going to go unpunished, man. And proud in heart relates to the mind, man. Um, Proverbs 29 and 23, a man's pride shall bring him low. Man's pride is going to bring him low, man. 
because he's going to be abased and he's going to be ashamed. But honor shall uphold the humble in spirit, man. Because the Lord is going to lift the humble in spirit. He's going to exalt the um, humble in spirit. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall, man. So pride ultimately leads to destruction, man. Because the Lord hates pride. For if a man think himself, if a man, Galatians um, 6 and 3, if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. So why are earth, earth and ashes proud, man? So he only deceives himself, man, to think he's more than what he is, man. You know? Um... The scripture goes again, why are earth and ashes proud, man? Why are you proud? Because you are the flesh, man. The flesh is the, the that turns to dust. Go back into and you came from the ground. For you both came to the ground and the ashes are raised to the dust. So you go back to where you came from. And the spirit will go to the one who created it. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, man. James 4 and 6, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resists the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. So the grace is given to the humble, man. And he resists the proud, which is the wicked. 27 and 2, let another man praise thee. Let not thy own mouth, thy own mouth, a, a stranger and not thy own lips. So uh, let... Oh, Another one praise thee because if you praise thee self that goes to arrogance of being that's being prideful and, and being arrogant man So let others esteem you man because let others esteem you And really it's not even about you you know it's about um Yahweh Bashim Yasha This is his knowledge and truth We're just vessels man being used to push the message man so it's not about us, man. It's about this truth and knowledge. Being humble and realize the praise and glory goes to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Proverbs 26 and 12. Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit? There is more hope of a fool than of him. So a fool has a better chance than the one who's... Um, um, who's wise in his own conceit relating to his own form of wisdom and understanding. Philippians 2 and 3, let, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. So do, let nothing be done through contention or strife or, or anger and vainglory. Pretty much vanity, man. But loneliness of mind, let, let each esteem others better than themselves. So esteeming others. Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil and pride and arrogance. Because the Lord hates that, man. And the evil way in the froward mouth do I hate. Froward mouth. One who, um, um, froward goes, um, uh, one who's very difficult, contrary. Jeremiah 9 and 23, Thus saith the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. I'm reading these scriptures over. Neither let the might, mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, man. So, because all these things the Lord has given. You know what I mean? He given the wisdom. He given the might. He given the, um, the riches, man. But he can take all these things as well, man. So it's not about it's not about what they did. The Lord is the one that, that gives man these things, man. Um, first, of John, first of John two and sixteen. For all that is in the world, the lust of the the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So all these things, the lust, the eyes, the pride, it's all of the world, man. It's not of it's not of Yahweh Bashim Yasha, man. Be of the same mind one towards another. Mind not high things. Be condescent to low. 
Be condescent to men of low estate. Be not wise in thy own conceit, your own wisdom and understanding. So show no favoritism to one, uh, uh, one over the other. Treat equally, man. And be low and humble equally to both sides, man. But show no favor, no favoritism, man. Don't show no favor, for example, of that. Show no favoritism more to a rich person because they're rich. And show no um, um, dislike of, uh, or show no um, not favoritism to one who's um, not as uh, not as wealth, not as wealthy or a resource, not as not as uh, or who is poor, you know, or may not have the resources and means. So, so sh um, shoot equally to whether whether they are rich or poor, man. So show 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 um, um, the balance to both, man. Does the scripture talk about. Um, Lucky, let me just try to find it. Um, Eleven and fourteen, Shalakia. Uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, eleven and fourteen, Shalakia. I had to try to find it. Um, this is um, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, eleven and fourteen. Prosperity, adversity, life and death, poverty, and riches come of the Lord. So all these things. Prosperity, whether you prosper. Adversity, where you go through opposition, life, life, the living, death, when you're asleep, poverty, when you're poor, and the riches, where you have abundance and resourcefulness, or resources, abundance of resources. All these things are given to the Lord, man. So why, why be proud, man? Because all, all these things ultimately are given by Yahweh Shemesha, whether uh, what individual has uh, wisdom might riches understanding for all the Lord gives these things man I'm gonna read that again 11 and 14 prosperity adversity life and death poverty riches come of the Lord so all these all these come from the Lord man so if you have these these all come from Yahweh Shem Yasha man so it's not of us this is just something short um I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Akakadash um, this is Brother Zaya, which means wolf. I hope it helps in some way. Um, the water. Shalom, thanks.